Hey, what's going on guys and gals? It's Sanitary 103 here, always promoting clean eating and clean living. Anyway, here's a scenario. You're finally fed up with being overweight, you want to fit in the genes that you had in high school, and you just want to be healthy. So you finally decided to hit the gym. Unfortunately, there's so many out there. There's a 24-hour Nautilus or 24-hour fitness, wherever you call it, Fitness 19. There are Gold's Gym. There's even some gyms for women uh, called Curves. The list goes on and on and on. I'm probably not getting all of them outside of California, but you, but you get the picture. Anyway, um, in this video, I wanted to go over five essential things that you need to look for when choosing a gym. So let's get started. Number one, you want to observe and go to the gym during peak hours, and that's typically anywhere between 4 and 7 p.m., which is when people get off from work. The reason being is that if you were to go, let's say, on a weekend at noon or an oddball time at, let's say, 2 p.m. on Tuesday, you might notice that the crowds are a little bit less. And based on that observation, you might be saying to yourself, wow, this is spectacular, you know, I could just get in and out, I don't have to worry about the crowds. I don't have to worry. I can take a quick shower, get in and out, not worry about it, and move on with my day. But then, let's say you finally go and work out after work, and you find out that the gym is way too overcrowded. And unfortunately, you don't want to be put in that situation because you might be um, in a long-term contract and you're going to be stuck. So make sure you go during the peak hours and or if you plan on working out, let's say, every day in the morning time, try to come during that time to observe because that's the time that you're going to be working out so it makes sense to see how the crowd is during the times that you work out at. Okay, let's move on to number two. Most places will give you a seven day free pass to see if you like the gym. Upon working out during this introductory period, I want you to scan the crowd and see if, it, if it's your cup of tea. For instance, if you're um, easily intimidated, which you shouldn't be, but let's say you know, you're know you a female and you go to a Gold's Gym and you see a lot of meatheads and it makes you feel uncomfortable, that might not be the gym for you. You know, you might want to consider an all-girls gym such as Curves. And once again, you know, I'm actually trying to promote, I actually promote women to lift weights and stuff, so I'm not saying that women should not be um, at a Gold's Gym or something, let's not get it twisted, but that's just a, an example. Now just make sure to check out the crowd to see if you feel like it's your cup of tea. Um, some people probably just don't care, you know, some people will just be like, well, I don't care, I'm going to have my headphones in anyway and, and get in the zone, so it doesn't matter. If that's the case, then so be it, but if you're kind of uncomfortable or you're you know, trying to lose weight and you want more support, there might be some other gyms that have, you know, offer more classes that fit your um, demograph. Okay, number three, the cleanliness. And I'm not just talking about the bathrooms, although you definitely want to check those out. I'm talking about the equipment. When you go talk to somebody at the gym, ask them how often do the workers clean the equipment and if the guy says well uh, it's been about three weeks four, or whatever it may be um, that could be a red flag so definitely you want to make sure that you go to a place that's clean I mean who wants to you know get sick I mean you, you could be contagious I mean it's gross these people uh, they wipe their nose blah 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 you could get ringworm you could get a staph infection you could get the flu common cold, everything, so you definitely want to um, make sure you're in a clean environment. The gym that I went to, or am going to, and I hope they don't notice me on this camera, but man, until recently when they finally got some new equipment, there were so many out of order signs. Uh, it's pretty ridiculous. It's not a big deal when it's not as crowded, but on the days that you're waiting for a cardio machine and there are none available, but you go and you observe five out of order machines, which I'm not exaggerating, I've seen it. It's really irritating. So if you see a lot of out of order signs, either on the cardio or on the weight stations, 
um, that's something that you want to look out for and you might want to think twice. Okay, number five, price. What you got to remember is that a lot of these promotional deals that occur, they're not set in stone. They change every month or every three months or something. So if, if, a, if a guy tells you, hey, you know, this is only going to be for limited time. You're not going to get this anywhere else. That's baloney. He's a salesperson. He obviously wants you to pay because they want to make money. So definitely want to, want to shop around. And also the, another thing that, um, that you need to realize is that Let's say, let's use 24 hour fitness as an example. A 24 hour fitness, let's say in um, one city, might have a rate of, let's say, I don't know, I'm just throwing these numbers out, $20 per month, and it's a promotional deal. If you go to that same exact 24 hour fitness, I'm not even talking about a different gym, but a same 24 hour fitness company at a different location, they're gonna have a different rate. It all depends on the management because they can change it and it can fluctuate and it can go up and down. So one rate at one 24 hour is not gonna be the same at another. Granted, obviously, if, if you're at a Gold's Gym and you go to a 24 hour, the rates are probably gonna be different for sure. But don't get it twisted in thinking that if you go to a Gold's Gym and it's $30 a month here, that you go to another Gold's Gym, it's still gonna be $30. That's not true. One might actually be cheaper than the other. So remember that. And one another thing that I wanted to point out is that a lot of these gym uh, owners are going to want you to pay out for three years. Now, um, in this regard, they want you to pay out because they want your money right off the bat because they know that most people will not go that often. If everybody at my gym and across the country that had a membership went three to four times a week, which they should, there'd be no room. And how do I know this? Because at the beginning of January for New Year's resolutions, it's packed. Within a month, they're all gone. They're all dissipated. And the regulars are there, such as myself and others. So um, the point I'm trying to make is that don't pay out the three years if you're not going to go. That's a waste of money. You're going to spend a minimum of $500 for three years out, which I did. I paid about over $500 for three years, which is still relatively cheap. And then afterwards, after the three-year after the three years were up, um, I only have to pay like $50 a year. Sorry for the sirens. I don't know what the heck that's going on right there. But anyway, so make sure don't waste your money if you're going to not go. Questions and comments are always welcome. Subscribe to my channel, please. I thank you for everybody who's been watching. Um, and um, I'll make sure to have more videos in the future and take care.